Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about Chemical Engineering Gate 2020 Fluid Mechanics Questions with Solution. Gate 2020 question paper and answer key link is available in my description box. You can download it. Question number 36. A student performed a flow experiment with a Bingham plastic. What is Bingham plastic? So, Bingham plastic is nothing but act as a rigid body until a certain force is applied, then it acts as a liquid. So, examples of Bingham plastic toothpaste. This experiment with Bingham plastic under fully developed laminar flow conditions in a tube of radius 0 0.01 meter. This is R. With a pressure drop delta P of 10 kPa over tube length L of 1 meter. The velocity profile is flat when the condition is R less than RC. So the radius less than critical radius. And parabolic for R greater than or equal to RC as shown in the figure. Refer this figure. Here X is the axial direction. R is a radial direction. Here R is less than RC. This pipe is flat. This is the velocity profile. So here this is the velocity profile is flat. When R is greater than RC. So this velocity profile is parabolic. Okay. So this is the velocity profile diagram. Consider R and X as a radial and axial direction. Already I said R is a radial direction. X is a axial direction. And the shear stress is finite when R approaches 0 or R turning to 0. So here shear stress or tau or X is equal to finite. Force balance result in the following equation. D of R tau or X divided by dr is equal to R into minus delta P divided by L. This is a force balance equation. So, in this expression, delta P is a pressure drop, L is a length, R is a radius, tau or X is a shear stress. If RC is 0 0.001 meter, so then the magnitude of yield stress for this Bingham plastic in terms of Pascal. So, objective of this problem to determine the magnitude of yield stress that is denoted as tau or x. Okay. So, answer for this problem is option B. I am going to explain how is it. Data condition is the laminar flow. Here radius is 0 0.01 meter. Pressure drop 10 kilopascal. 10 into 10 to rub 3 pascal. Tube length is a 1 meter. So the two conditions are available in our pro problem. R is less than RC. Velocity profile is flat. Refer this figure. R is greater than or equal to RC. Velocity profile is parabolic. R is a radial direction. X is a axial direction. R approaches 0 or R turning to 0. Tau is finite. This is the tau or X. This is finite. Okay. So, force balance equation is given in our problem. D of R tau or X divided by dr is equal to R into minus delta P divided by L. So, in this expression, R is a radius, delta P is a pressure drop, L is a length, tau or X is a shear stress. RC value is also given the critical radius value 0 0.001 meter. Objective of this problem to determine the magnitude of yield stress in terms of Pascal. Magnitude of yield stress is denoted as tau or x. Solution part. So, we have force balance expression. D of R tau or x divided by dr is equal to R into minus delta P by L. So, here R into tau or x is equal to, so integrate this expression minus del, T by, del P by L R integration so R squared by 2 plus integration constant. 
So the first we are going to calculate the integration constant value. We need boundary conditions. This equation is a first expression. R into tau or x is equal to minus del p by l r squared by 2 plus c. Boundary condition r is equal to 0, tau or x is equal to 0. So this is the pipe. So at the center of the pipe, velocity is the maximum. So this is the radius, is right? Velocity is the maximum. What about the shear stress at the center? This is the where minimum we should take. This is 0. At the wall, velocity is the minimum. We should take this is equal to 0. What about the shear stress here? Shear stress is a maximum. So when r is equal to 0 here, what about the tower x? Tower x is a minimum. We should take 0. So this is the radius small r. So at the center, this is a starting here. We should take r values are 0. This is our boundary condition. R is equal to 0, tau or x is equal to 0. Substitute in first expression. So, in here R is equal to 0 means this value is the LHS 0. So, here R is equal to 0 means this value is also 0. What about the C value? C is equal to 0. This is the second expression. So, now we have the integration constant C value. Substitute in the first expression. So, find out the tau or x. This is the magnitude stress. So, here r into tau or x is equal to minus del p by l r square by 2. So, this is the final expression. So, from these we want a tau or x. Tau or x is equal to minus del p into r by 2l. Why? Because this r comes to this side. So, the r r's are cancelled. Finally, we get tau or x is equal to minus del p r divided by 2l. This is the third expression. When r is equal to r c. So, why? Because we have the two condition is right. R is less than RC. Velocity profile is flat. So, this is one condition. Refer the problem. Another condition. R is greater than or equal to RC. So, in this condition, velocity profile is a parabolic. So, but here, R is equal to RC. Tau or x is equal to minus del P RC by 2L. So, here R is replaced to RC. So, we should take R values or RC here. Final expression tau or x is equal to minus del P RC by 2L. In this expression, we know the pressure drop. This is the given data. RC values are known. This is also given. Length values are given. Substitute all the values here. Find out the tau or x. Finally, we get tau or x is equal to 5 Pascal. This is our answer. So, here we have the options. So, we have four options, is right? Already I said answer for this problem is option B. So, magnitude of yield stress that is equal to 5 Pascal. For further related videos, you can like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you.